Today we're talking about the proper length of backswing and how it can impact swing tendencies on the golf course. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And we all know this, if you don't get the backswing down, you're not going to have a good chance to hit a quality golf shot. Now be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to leave a comment because I always do my best to respond to all those comments and I love hearing from you. I love the dialogue back and forth, specifically today because we're talking about the backswing and the backswing length. So here's where we're going to go today on this because if you're frustrated because people are telling you your swing's too short, it's too long, you're too quick, you name it, you've come to the right spot. So we're going to talk about what is the proper length of backswing, all right? If you're too short, what are some of your tendencies? that you might find. If you're too long, what are your tendencies? So you kind of truly know, is my backswing actually too short or are people just telling me that? We're gonna talk about what are some suggestions that can help you maybe navigate that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna give you a specific checkpoint so you know when you look at your swing every single time that you're dialed in and you're in the right spot. And the best part is, at the end, I'm gonna give you a simple drill that can help you find that every single time. So let's talk about some of the tendencies. If you've been told that your backswing is just too short, here are some things that you probably tend to struggle with. Number one is probably lack of distance. If you're not hitting the golf ball with the distance that you feel like you should be, it could be because your backswing is too short. The reality of it is, if I only swing the club back where my lead arm is parallel to the ground and I swing it through, the ball is gonna go a certain distance. If I make the same swing at roughly the same speed, give or take a little bit, but my swing is a little bit longer, so my lead arm is a little bit further back, the ball's gonna travel further distance. So if your swing is too short, you might be lacking some distance. Another key component, or tendency I should say, that tells us that your swing might be too short is if your rhythm and your tempo is off. The purpose of a backswing is to build energy. Because when you build energy in the backswing, then you can have a nice smooth forward motion or a downstroke. But if your backswing is too short and you haven't built up the energy, you might be getting very quick from the top. So if people are saying, hey, Jimmy, your swing is just really fast or you're coming over the top, it very well could be because your backswing is too short. So those are the two things that I generally see if a golfer's backswing is too short. I see lack of distance and I see really bad tempo. Now, what about if a swing is too long? Maybe you've been told your swing looks too long. What are some tendencies that you might be seeing? Number one is contact. You're just not hitting the ball very solid. You hit it on the toe, you hit it on the heel, you hit it too high, you name it. You're just not making solid contact. That would be the first thing that I would look for. All right, the second thing I would say would be the balance. If you swing the club and you're not in balance on your finish, your swing could very well be too long. So those are the tendencies that we're seeing. Now I'd be curious to see, maybe if you have any of these tendencies, be sure to leave them in a comment, and then I'll tell you, hey, you know what, based on your tendency there, you know, this would kind of give me an idea of your maybe your swing is too short or too long. So be sure to leave those in the comments because I love hearing from you. All right, so what are some suggestions? Let's talk first of all about some suggestions based on our swing. So the first thing you want to look at, all right, is the swing shape. Now, generally speaking, if the shape of your swing, so we're talking about kind of like the, the shape that the club moves, all right? What's the angle that the club moves at a little bit? So if the, if the club swings more around your body, or in golf terms what we would call kind of flat, so the swing works low and around, all right? Generally speaking, those swings will be a little bit shorter, especially as we get older. All right, if you have a lot of flexibility, all right, if I have a lot of flexibility, yes, I can swing the club low and around and still get a pretty long backswing, but most of us can't do that. So that would be the first suggestion I would take a look at is what's the shape of your swing? Now, if the shape of the swing is more vertical, more up and down, the swing will tend to be a little bit longer. All right, and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper into that. So that's the first thing I'm going to look at. If my, if my tendency is showing me my swing's too short, or my tendency is showing me that my swing's too long, I'm going to look at the shape of the swing. We're going to dive specifically into that in just a second. Now, the other part that can have a big impact on that is the setup. How you're set up to the ball. Alright, so if you're 
further away from the ball. Think of like a driver, okay, versus a wedge. The further away from the ball we are, the more the swing is going to work low and around. All right, just because that's the angle that the club sits at. The closer we are to the ball, the more the club will swing up and down, all things being equal. So your setup can have a big impact on that, all right? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that also. So those are the first two places that I'm looking if I feel like my swing is too long or too short. And maybe if you have some other suggestions or things that you've heard about the setup that have helped you, be sure to leave those in the comments as well. Or maybe you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's okay too. Like I always say, you won't be the first person who's disagreed with me. Now, lead arm direction. This is really why you tuned into this video. And if you're still watching, this is going to be well worth your time. The lead arm direction is huge in terms of the length of the backswing. So here's, I want you to watch this real close. When I take my lead arm and I swing it low and around, okay, when I swing it in and low and around, my swing is going to be pretty short. Let me do it even from face on here. So I'm set in, and when my lead arm goes low and around, that for me and my flexibility is about all the longer my golf swing is going to be. All right? So if your swing is too short, it's very possible that your lead arm is too far inside. All right? Now, what could be causing that? Could be your setup. All right? If you're too far from the golf ball, and then therefore you're bending over and reaching for it, you've set angles that are gonna wanna make your lead arm go in and around. Once again, it's not a bad thing, but it is gonna be more getting your swing proponent-wise or more pushing you towards a shorter length backswing. Now let's think about the opposite. Let's say I'm set in there and my lead arm works more straight back and up. Okay, from this angle, now when I take my lead arm straight back and it works up, now you can see how high my hands get and then therefore the length of my backswing is different. So lead arm in this position, longer backswing than lead arm in this position. Even though my body hasn't changed at all, the direction of the lead arm can greatly impact where the length of your backswing goes. So that's what I call about lead arm direction. This is really the key right here. This is the secret that very few people look at when they're talking about their length of their backswing. So, if you lack distance, all right, and you've got bad tempo and rhythm, you might be too far from the ball and your lead arm might be too far in, all right? If you're struggling with contact, you're not hitting the ball solid and you're falling out of balance, maybe it's something as simple as your swing is too long, so you need to move, all right, a little further away from the ball and get your lead arm a little bit more in. So those are a couple of things that we can do there. Now, the checkpoint here, the checkpoint that I want, this is kind of a middle of the road. Now, when I say this, keep in mind that there's a lot of ways to do it, all right? There's a lot of different ways to do it, but generally speaking, the lead arm is gonna be in line with your shoulder. So when I get the club to the top, as an instructor, what I'm looking for is, is the lead arm, the hands kind of in the same line of the shoulders, or is it below the shoulders? Their swing might be a little short, or is it way above the shoulders? Their swing might be a, a little bit too long. So next time you head to the golf course and you're getting ready to play around the golf, Here's what you're gonna do to help you find that perfect position, the right length of the backswing at the top. You're gonna do this drill. You're gonna get set up, you're gonna take the club, you're gonna put it just in front of the ball, and you're just gonna naturally swing the club to the top. I don't want you to really even think about anything. Do this with probably like a six iron or a seven iron. Get set up, put the club in front of the ball, and just naturally swing it to the top. And what's probably gonna happen, nine times out of 10, is the club is gonna naturally move into a position that allows you to get your hands in the right spot and then therefore the correct length of backswing. <laughs>